Ah, hello, John Robert Longcroft Neil here. How are you doing? Uh, this is vlog number nine, apparently. I'm excited, are you? Uh, well, I'm saddened somewhat, really, because following the, the death of George Floyd in police custody last week, uh, it set off a whole lot of reaction around the world, in, in Britain in particular, about the injustices of racial discrimination, some of which is absolutely awful. Um, now, I know America has a history throughout the Civil War of statues going up about the generals, and they were thinking of taking them down, and many have been taken down. Um, but we have a similar problem here, and I didn't know of this one, but the other day a statue was torn down in Britain, in Bristol, and it was of Edward Colston. Now, Edward Colston died in 1721, and he was a merchant, and he was a slave trader, quite simply a slave trader. Uh, apparently he sh moved and shipped uh, 884,000 slaves to the Americas, of which 20,000 died. That's men, women and children, and were thrown into the sea. And uh, it's also said, quite macabre, that he had his company names um, branded onto their chest. So, Mr. Colson made millions of pounds doing this, came back to Bristol and thought, well, he'll spend it on the local population. And the local population, the Bristolians, well, thought, this is great, they're very grateful. So they named town, um, roads and squares and hospitals and schools after him. And they were very grateful for it. So they put up a statue for him, or of him, later on. And the statue stood there for a while and they thought, hang on a minute, we know where this came from. And those people who were of the West Indies and so on, and there's a considerable number around in Bristol, thought this isn't right. So for 30 years they have petitioned to have the statue taken down. 30 years, since 1990. And it never happened. So recently they had demonstrations which turned into a bit of a mob rule and they tore the statue down it was covered with graffiti they pulled it down somewhat reminiscent of the statue of Saddam, Saddam Hussein that came down in Iraq a while back it crashed to the ground it they pushed it along and dragged it and threw it into the uh, Bristol harbour and there it lies at the moment and somebody was saying that um, it ought to be taken out and put into a museum and I'd like to see it left as it is covered in graffiti broken in half and the reason why it looks like it does I think that'd be a great point should they have done it no not really because we have democratic systems here to allow this to be done in a and decisions made but for 30 years they haven't done it so it's quite understandable this has gone the way it has oh dear the British Empire is littered with these sorts of things I'll give you another example I'll just get this in quickly I went recently, a couple of years ago, to Shugborough House, which is a big um, country manor house in England, in Staffordshire. One of the rooms was elaborately, over-elaborately decorated by uh, George Anson, who, again, similar times, died in 1762. And I said to the, the guide, because she said, oh, he came back from the wars with uh, spoils of war and uh, paid for all this. I went, really? So he stole it. And she went, it was spoils of war. I said, yeah, he stole it. Uh, and she said, well, it, no, it wasn't quite like that. I said, yes, it was. And she was quite taken aback. But of course it was true. In fact, what he did, he stole it from the uh, Spanish, who'd stolen it from the Mexicans, or whoever they were then, um, full of silver. And he came back with £13 million for himself. It was just... They were just pirates on the high seas, absolutely terrible. And that's what the British Empire was built upon, was basically bullying and stealing off other people. And uh, there's no two ways about it. That's the, what, the, what it was. And I, I don't think we ought to be particularly proud of it. So, yeah, statue comes down in Bristol. Probably a good thing. So a lot of turmoil at the moment, a lot of people thinking about all sorts of things. Right, I'm very good at doing five minutes. Look at that. Three, two, one. Wow.